Hey, welcome back to the channel. I just made an update video for my Amazon Seller Pro course and I wanted you guys to view it just so you can see my teaching style. And for anyone that's just really interested in the content, this is how you're gonna make your first shipping plan ever when selling products on Amazon. E-commerce is a very viable business model right now and I wanted to give this to you because I'm making a lot of videos about crypto lately but you don't have really too much control over what happens in the markets. So if you want control over your own life and own financial destiny, definitely take a look at my Amazon Seller Pro course which I'll leave linked right down below in the description and I'm even gonna do a little holiday discount, $100 off, if you enter AMZ Pro at checkout. That's a 20% discount. So see what I have for you in the course curriculum, and I hope to see you enrolled very soon. Enjoy. Congratulations on making it this far. Now it's time to create our first shipping plan. So once you have your bare bones listing all set up inside of Amazon, we're gonna wanna go hover over our Manage Inventory tab. So you can see right here, manage inventory. We will click on that and then you'll be able to see your listing right here in Seller Central. So the first thing you wanna do then is go ahead and click on the checkbox next to the product you wanna create a shipping plan for. From there, we're gonna come up to this button that says actions. Go ahead and click on that and you can see you can do many different things within this actions tab. You can print item labels for your product. These are the barcodes you'll have your supplier put on each one of your products. I've already mentioned that in the course. But what you're gonna wanna do to actually get to creating your shipping plan is press on this button right here, send slash replenish inventory. Go ahead and click on that. And then this is the updated layout for creating a shipping plan. You'll see the ship from address right here. And I already have a supplier name in here, but if you're doing this for the first time, you'll just go ahead and say ship from another address. And this is where you can press add a new contact. So you'll go ahead and press that. And this is where you're gonna enter in all the information. So you're gonna be shipping from China and you can ask your supplier for their address. Sometimes when you're messaging them, you can actually just click on their uh, little profile image within Alibaba. I bought Teddy Roses from this person before, but apparently they have smoking accessories now. But I'll go ahead and actually click on their company profile, just like I did there. You'll see it just like this. And oftentimes they have a contact button, so you can go ahead and come down and right in here you'll see their company name, their address, and that's all the information that you're gonna wanna be throwing right in here. Again, you can even ask them for uh, their zip code or whatever you want like that. So Marketplace Destination is gonna be the United States. And there's gonna be an option here for individual units or creating a new case packed template. Now, if you're just sending in individual units, this is usually something you're gonna do if you're shipping items from home into Amazon. You can have a box and maybe ship in multiple different products into Amazon within one box. But when we're shipping from overseas, we're gonna actually be creating a new case pack template. So I'm gonna click on this and we only have to create this template one time. So we're basically telling Amazon, how our supplier is always gonna be shipping in these types of units. So that's gonna incorporate how many units they're gonna put in each box, what size is the box, the box dimensions, and how much that box weighs. So go ahead and create a packing template name. I'm just gonna call this magnets. Then you're gonna to need to put in some information here and this is stuff you're gonna to need to ask your supplier about. So ask them how many units they're actually putting in each box. So I think when I did this product, it was about 50 units per box and I shipped in like 10 boxes, something like that. Then you're gonna to need to put in the box dimensions and oftentimes your supplier is gonna give you this number in the metric system, so they'll give it to you in centimeters. If they say like 44 centimeters or whatever, you're gonna to need to just say 44 centimeters to inches on Google and find how many inches that is, so 17.32. So I'll just put in 17.3. Doesn't need to be super specific, but you get the picture. We'll get in the length, width, and height of our box from the supplier, put that in here, and I'm just gonna put in an example box weight here, but make sure your supplier is not shipping a box in that's over 45 pounds, otherwise you have to ask your supplier to put a heavy sticker on the box and I think it's gonna be categorized as an oversized shipment. So just make sure, you know, at most you're doing a box that's 44 pounds at the most. And then it says who preps units. We're gonna go ahead and say choose prep category and we can scroll right down to the bottom here where it says no prep needed. That's what you're gonna wanna press because your supplier is prepping all these units. Amazon doesn't have to do any of that. 
So it should say no prep needed and look something like that with your configuration for all the numbers here that your supplier gave you. I'll go ahead and say save. And now I can click the drop down here and I see I have my magnets shipping template created. If you ever wanna fix or edit that, you can press on this little button here and change anything you want or delete the packing template, it's all right there for you. And I'll just say I'm shipping in one box for this example and I'll say ready to send. You see there's no prep and labeling fees because our supplier is doing that. Amazon's not gonna charge us anything. I'll go ahead and say confirm and continue. And then when you're first starting out, you're gonna be doing a small parcel delivery. Less than truckload is gonna be when you're shipping in like a ton of units with containers and pallets and things like that. And you can see right here, we have an Amazon warehouse address right here. And this is what your supplier's really gonna need uh, at the end of this. And you'll be giving them box labels, which we're gonna be creating now so they can sticker those on each box. Then we're gonna come down and say, select a carrier. Your supplier's oftentimes just gonna be shipping with UPS. I'm gonna go UPS non-partnered carrier and I'll say accept charges. It should be just $0 because you're paying the shipping price through your supplier. I'll say accept charges. Relook at all your information that they have here. This is the address you're shipping from your supplier. You're shipping to the Amazon warehouse they gave you right there. And then you're gonna be printing your box labels. So this is the final step. You just press print right there. And then I only did one box, so I just have one barcode, but usually you're gonna be shipping in more boxes and Amazon will give you these types of barcodes across this whole page. And your supplier is gonna go ahead and sticker these on the outside of the big box that they're putting in all your little units within. And then they're gonna ship that into Amazon. So you can see I got my 50 magnets right here, my 50 units, and it's as simple as that. You can go ahead and on my Mac computer, I can press this download button right up in the corner. I can just drag that onto my desktop and it's right there. And then I can come back into Alibaba where I was messaging my supplier and I'll see there's an option to upload a file right down here. And then I see my box labels right here. So I'll go ahead and say open and then boom and I accidentally just sent that officially to my supplier, so I'm gonna delete that. But your supplier will get that, they can click on it, open it, and then put that on the outside of the boxes they're gonna ship into Amazon. The last thing to keep in mind is to ask your supplier for the tracking numbers when they start shipping your product. They'll give you a UPS tracking number and you can plug that in and see the progress of your shipments as they're coming on into Amazon, and I always like to go check on that and see where it is. And then you can go ahead on Amazon in your shipping plan here and say proceed to enter tracking numbers. And then you can go ahead and throw your tracking number right in here so Amazon's updated with that as well. That'll come in handy too if Amazon misplaces or loses some of your inventory, they're gonna want this tracking number. And you can actually get reimbursed if Amazon misplaces or loses some of your inventory. That's happened to me one time before and they refunded me like $3,000. So that was really cool. Just another note that you need to have. Another cool thing is you can come up to your inventory tab again and come down to say manage FBA shipments and then you can see all your shipments right here. You can click on it and come in and see the summary of your shipment that you just made right here. And this is even where you can enter in your tracking number for that shipment. That's all I wanted to bring you in this shipping plan video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Amazon FBA is what started me in entrepreneurship five years ago and I was able to quit my job and create reoccurring passive income with an actual physical products brand. This is classic business 101 where you're buying low from overseas suppliers and then selling high on Amazon where everything is marked up, especially with inflation right now. You're able to sell your products for about 10% more compared to what you used to be able to sell them as before this whole pandemic and inflation craze took off. I hope you can get as hyped as I was when I first discovered this business model and take advantage of the $100 20% off discount using AMZ Pro at checkout for my Amazon Seller Pro course. I'm excited to get you in and there's multiple tiers to the course as well. So if you wanna sign up for the more expensive tier, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you through Zoom calls where I'm able to help you find products and mitigate any of the other problems you might encounter along the journey. This is an A to Z course that covers everything. If you've had no prior experience doing any e-commerce at all, you'll be happy at home here. Thanks again for watching the video and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.